one's full, there's a little overflow. And it goes down, down, down. She's filled up. She's super tall today. I'm going to search for survivors, but I don't think we will find a single survivor. So I went and grabbed a bucket of water. And we're going to try to save them. So here's a big puddle. And I worry, I don't want to step on one, but I know there are live ones. Let me check a little bit here. I gotta be careful not to make the water too muddy too, because then I will kill them and that'll be bad. There's some. Oh my god, there's some. Oh my god. They're just pulled together. This is so sad. They're like, we are stuck. Okay. I gotta be so careful. I don't see any. Oh yeah, there are some right here. Look. I'm gonna have to use my hand, aren't I? Oh no, I can't see them. I made it muddy. Okay, this isn't good. Okay. I'm gonna get this dirty puddle first before I make any more of a muck of things. These poor fish. I see one right there. Oh, I'm like, my nose is running. Okay. There they are. See them? Okay, I gotta get them. They're like freaking out. Come behind them. There they are. Okay. Got one. He went to the bucket. Let's see if I can get this other one right here. Let me see if I can do it with my freaking hand. Look, there's three over there. Look, I gotta get them. Get some more water in here for you. Okay. I gotta get them in the bucket. There's three right there. Do you see this? How hard this is gonna be to grab all three? Gotcha. Got one. Ooh, they're like freaking the heck out. Ooh, please don't leave. Okay, wait. Oop, almost got you. There he is. Got one. Whoops. Okay, I think there's one more in this puddle we gotta get. Hold on. There you go. I think that was all in this puddle. Oh, got you. Okay, there you are. Oh, they're you're alive. Okay, hold on. I know you're mad. I know you're mad. Are you alive? No, I think oh, you are. Okay, I'll put you in there. Two. Oh no! Got one. Okay. There he is. Another one. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how many I saved! Wow! Oh, I feel like I missed some, you know? I'm gonna have to edit this video super, super carefully. Because I don't want you guys to be exposed to, like, you know dead baby fish but also we're saving lives so like it's kind of like a turn your frown upside down are they you still alive and we don't know it wait he's breathing oh my god he's still breathing hi are you upset right now can you come back to life it's okay let's give you a second to like maybe he'll come back oh my god you are oh my god they were all still alive and I thought they were dead. How many more of the dead are not dead? Oh my gosh. I mean, one's not doing so great, but like those other two were completely just 
like accepting their fate. I don't even know. Are you alive? Oh my god, you are alive! Oh my god! The dead aren't dead! Or maybe be giving everyone a fair chance. Are you dead? Ah, you're not dead! Oh my gosh! Okay, so the dead fish are not dead fish. So we have to go and touch every dead fish out here now. Basically. Oh my gosh. These poor little fish. Are you alive? Please be alive. Oh, you're alive! Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I think you are. Oh, yeah, you are. You're really alive and you're gonna fight me. Don't fight. Don't fight it. Ooh. Now we're going back through from the top and we're taking everyone. Ah! See? Oh man, sorry if I just, I'm gonna have to mute that. They're not actually dead, people. Oh, I know you're mad. Oh my god. He's alive. There you go. We're getting second chances today, boys. Alright, going back into the water, which is so scary. Oh, I found another puddle. Are you alive? I bet you are. I bet you are. You are. Okay. Are you alive? Oh my god, I can't feel my hand. Can you please stop? I beg of you. Okay. Oh my gosh. I hope y'all know that, like, black water, water I can't see through. Look, there's just a freaking tail. Oh! It's just, like, one of my biggest... Fears is water I can't see it. I can't feel any more in there. Okay. Seriously, all of my freaking fish are out of my pond right now. Oh, man. I thought you were dead before. Are you dead? You're not dead. Okay. You're not dead. Okay. Then you go in the bucket. You're not dead. You're not dead. Guys, seriously, this is dead. Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? <gasps> He's not dead. Okay, so I have saved 90%, a solid 90. All the fish that I'm finding are still alive. So many. Look. Can you guys see? I mean, dozens, dozens of my brim from my pond. All right, guys. So the cold wiped my phone battery. So I just had to go on and I saved as many as I could possibly find. Um, I didn't see any that I did not pick up. I think I actually, out of all the ones I saw, maybe five were actually goners that couldn't be brought back. And I like made sure. Uh, but I probably saved, I don't know, 20, 30, maybe more. I mean, there's tons in there you can't even see. Um, and I know they're in the house, which you probably think is gross, but this bucket was actually brand new um, before today, before this whole incident. So it's just my bird seed bucket. So it's clean. Um, but anyway, so I brought them inside because my phone died and I wanted to film. Last night's storm was really, really huge. We had tornado warnings and everything. It was a really big storm. So this does kind of make sense that this happened. Because, I mean, a pond can only hold so much water, you know. I just really feel bad for these little brim. But I'm really glad that I was able to save them. And they are doing really good. I'm just grateful that I was able to get them. I'm sitting here in my coffee corner. This is the corner I sit and watch my birds every morning while I drink my coffee. Um, I usually just sit here. That's my coffee from this morning, actually. Um, that's a turtle shell I found in the woods. But basically, yeah, this is just my corner where I sit and drink my coffee. And I'm just sitting here with the fish, making sure that they're all okay. And then I'm going to go release some. Hi, baby. I love you. You're precious. I love you so much. Are you mad you're not getting attention because I'm talking? Yeah. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Beautiful my, you are a beautiful my, yes, oh. We saved so many guys. 
We saved so many. And they're all doing so good. We'll be able to go release them in a minute. My hands are fully thawed now, so now we can go take them and let them go. But we saved so, so, so many. All right, guys, we are out at the pond. It is absolutely freezing out here. You see the pond here? The water is not rushing out anymore, obviously, because it's not raining and we're not supposed to have rain for over a week. So I think it's safe to let them go, but I will be out here watching. I will come out here every day and check that friggin' spot over there to make sure that they're not washing out again. But um, they all lived, as you can see, they all are completely woke up or back to life. And so we're gonna go on and dump them in here. Go on. All right, there they all go and they all swam away. So hopefully they all make it. I definitely did the best that I could. So, and I hope that they all make it. Hey guys, so today is day three of coming to the pond and checking the overflow uh, underneath the grass and the weeds and stuff and in the puddles. For fish um, I actually found three more this morning that were alive and then I found another four so I've probably been out here about an hour digging in the mud literally looking for fish in the puddles and I found four more and you can see they're alive they're fine they're all surviving the ones that I find alive are all surviving so that makes me feel good but what makes me feel bad is that this is day three of this so I actually talked to Patrick about this spot right here, which is our overflow. It's basically the levee, so to speak, which like is like this whole area right here. This is basically one big wall that keeps the pond full, which is great. The pond never ever leaks or goes dry, but all ponds have an overflow, which is this right here. And basically what's happening is the pond fills up whenever it storms and then it comes through here and it flows down into this little creek area you can see right here but the problem is is that there's supposed to be a pipe right here um usually ponds have like a pipe my mom's pond has a really big one um like a big silver pipe type deal that is buried in the ground at the level of the pond so it would basically be like a big circle right here where when the pond gets to a certain level it flows through the pipe um and it would just keep the pond from overflowing and then all of your fish uh, falling out obviously so this pond doesn't have that so that's definitely the first thing that Patrick and I are going to try to figure out and work on the only problem is is that in order to install the pipe we would have to dig out right here to put it in and the issue with that is that basically all of our water in our pond would basically pour out at a really fast rate and it's kind of uncontrollable we're trying to work it out that's definitely something we're doing right now we're gonna put a piece of wood here and a piece of wood over there and what we've decided to do is we're gonna put two pieces of wood it's gonna look really janky but basically we're gonna put them in the ground like fence posts we're gonna do two and we're actually gonna put like a really tiny hole mesh netting that connects between the two so that the next time it storms like this um, it's going to keep the fish from washing out um, and obviously it is gonna catch debris and stuff but I mean I'd rather it catch debris um, then have the fish just free flowing, you know what I mean? So at least the water can get through. So it's still going to flood out and overflow when it pours and storms, but at least the fish won't go with the water. I'm also going to go on and release these little ones that I got. There's four in here. I'm going to release them back into the pond. I'll do it over here at a low spot. three four and there you go and they're in there thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoyed watching me let all of the fish go thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time be kind bye